Good morning, everyone. Janie here. Welcome back to my garden. Look at what a gorgeous morning it is. It is so beautiful outside today. It's still pretty cold. It's been so chilly, uh, but it's just absolutely gorgeous. And we're only about, I don't know, like two and a half weeks away from our last frost date here uh, where I live. Oh, I'm just getting so excited. Even the girls, my girls, um, Sadie and Shay, they are saying, it feels like spring. And you know, it, it's, you don't want to let it trick you. You don't want to go out there and start planting all this stuff right now. Cause we're still going to get more frost. We had a frost this morning. You know, it, it, we just have to be patient, but I am definitely getting excited. So the plan for today, Jason and I are going to be working over here. And you know, when I say Jason is with me, you know, we're going to get some good stuff done. Lots, lots of things done. So we are working over here. This is our side yard. This is it's our storage spot. You know, I feel like all yards need that storage spot. We have a garage, um, but you know, you need an outdoor storage. And I live on a very small property. I can never, I th it's, it's like a sixth of an acre or a seventh of an acre or right in between the two. It's very, very small. And so we don't have a ton of room to do a lot of things. And so, um, you know, this is our storage area, unfortunately. So I am in a garden tour on May 7th. <gasps> called sorry about stanley he's yelling at the birds yeah he's grumpy are you grumpy today you shouldn't be grumpy it's a beautiful day stanley are you grumpy huh <laughs> are you a grumpy old man Anyway, so I am in a garden tour on May 7th, the Pence Gallery Garden Tour. There are going to be, uh, they said last year there was about 600 people that came through. Um, so what it is, it's five gardens around my town, Davis, and they give you a, like a pamphlet and basically everybody drives to each garden and you don't have to do each one at the same order. So that makes it a little bit easier for people. Um, so it's not as much as a congestion, you know, 600 people in my garden is would be crazy but there's still going to be a lot of people consistently so what they said is that we needed to make one entrance for the backyard and then one exit for the backyard and so the entrance is over over there that's going to be my entrance and then my exit is going to be this beautiful spot right here right now it's got rocks it's i've actually cleaned this spot up so you know you guys know we just removed the birch tree um but there's just a whole bunch of junk here and what my plan was was to get this whole spot concreted in because it's really really hard to walk on these rocks these rocks are like kind of kind of big they're not um like look at stanley walk he's having a he, even he's having a hard time walking on them so my plan was to get this whole area concreted in oh sorry babe and um, so we actually had a guy come out yesterday and give us a quote on how much it would cost to get this whole space concreted in. And it was, it was a lot of money. <laughs> it was way, I mean, it was like five times as much as Jason and I had estimated by ourselves. Um, it was just so out of the budget. It's just, you know, you get all excited and you're like, yeah, let's do this. Let's get it concreted in. Let's do this. And then, you know, you actually get the price of how much things cost, especially how much things cost these days. And it's just, we just can't do it. We just cannot do it this year. We don't have the money to do it this year. So that is okay. I will go back to my original idea, which is putting stepping stones over these rocks to make it easier for people to walk out. And now that that birch tree is gone, I don't have to worry about it you know, someone bonking their head when they're walking out here. Um, but I do have to work on getting this place looking a little bit nicer. Um, so yeah, so I'm, I just have to figure things out. Uh, um, I don't know. It's like putting lipstick on a pig basically. So what our plan for today is that something that we can do today is I did get this shed. It is a, okay, so it's upside down. It is a metal garden shed. It's from Patio Well. You can kind of see it right there. Um, I think it's six by eight is what it is, but basically that's how I'm going to store all of this stuff. All of it is going to go into a garden shed. I, I mean, I'm, I'm in that, I think it should come, I measured it. I think it should come out to here. So the pathway will kind of be along here, but Jason and I, 
before we get the stepping stones and lay out the stepping stones for what we want to do um we want to get the shed up so at least we can see like the dimensions and all that kind of stuff and then we can kind of take some of this other stuff in and put it away so what we want to do today this morning is we kind of just want to put together this garden shed see what we're working with it's not a heavy garden shed it came in two boxes in the mail like ups just delivered it you know, it wasn't a big deal. Like I could even pick up this box myself. So it's not too heavy. So I feel like if we want to like shift it from one place to another on our side yard, I feel like we're gonna be able to do it. But just, we just wanted to get it all put together and put up and uh, see how much stuff that it can actually store so that we can kind of get a better idea of how we're gonna lay everything out. Here comes Jason. This is, it's only two boxes, right? Yep. Is that one heavier? About the same. Okay. Oh, it says team lift. Yeah, well. You should have let me help you. <laughs> Are you tired? Okay. <laughs> I think he's showing off. <laughs> so here's a picture of what the shed looks like, like on the advertisements and stuff like that. I think it's a really pretty color. It's like a beigey and a brownie color. It would look perfect with my parents' color scheme for their house, but it, it, I don't think it goes with our gray and white, but it's paintable, which I thought was awesome. So after we get this up and we get it all set where we want to do it, we're actually going to paint it to match our house. And we're also going to paint these blue barrels. These are my rain harvesting barrels. We're going to paint these as well. So that should make this whole area look a little bit nicer. And then we can get the stepping stones. And then, I don't know, maybe I'll put a potting bench over here. I, I don't know. I just, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm not going to get like, um, too focused on making our side yard look good for the garden tour. Like it's not that big of a deal. I should focus on my garden actually. Um, but I do want it to look a little bit, a little bit better than this. <laughs> so, all right. So we are going to all set up a camera and then we will just put this together. I feel like it's going to be pretty easy. It doesn't, it doesn't seem hard. They do say that because it's metal, they do say there are sharp edges. So you do have to wear gloves when you're putting this together. So we'll see how it goes. about midway through day two it's about 12 30 right now and we are all done we've got the doors on the roof on all the little safety protection things on so you don't scratch yourself if you're walking by it i am really happy to get this on i do still want to paint it you can see it's a perfectly fine color i actually like the roof color it's like a charcoal um but this just doesn't really go um with my house decor which is more gray uh but i was telling jason that i wanted to paint it 
it and he was like, can we just focus on function right now? <laughs> Let's decide what we're gonna do with the rest of this space and then we can start thinking about painting things. And I do wanna paint my blue barrels over there as well. So we will we will have a painting day later. But yeah, so I'm really happy with the shed. Um, it was definitely a two person job to put it together. You cannot do this by yourself. One person can't do it. There was just too many pieces to hold and um, uh, it was much easier if one person was like holding the the piece of metal and then the other person was screwing it in um, and there was a lot of screws there was a lot of pieces which I'm not really surprised because the shed came in the mail like it came in two boxes um, you know from the UPS guy so I'm sure it would be easier if you bought a shed and had the whole shed delivered I don't I think you can buy sheds that are pre pre-assembled um but yeah so it just it's 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 just a basically a trade-off uh so if you are gonna buy something like this just kind of have that in the back of your mind that you do need two people to put it together we started let's see we started at like eight o'clock this morning and it's 12 30 now we're done and then we worked yesterday and i worked probably six hours on it yesterday i would say so you can kind of see uh how long it took to put this together and i feel like jason and i we go once we get going we go pretty quickly the hardest thing about putting the shed together was you guys saw me ripping the plastic off uh each piece each piece is protected with like a sheet of plastic film and that was the biggest pain in the butt <laughs> surprise I wasn't I wasn't really planning on that but each piece was covered with a plastic film probably just to protect it during shipping so it doesn't get scratched so I appreciate that but it was kind of a pain in the butt to get all those pieces off so if you guys are gonna get something like this I would say open the boxes inside so you can like sit and watch television or something <laughs> while you're ripping that plastic off and not doing it out here I was doing it last night and then it got kind of late and then there was like mosquitoes coming out and stuff like that and I thought oh do I just bring all these pieces out inside and I just decided to wait and I did more of it this morning so anyways I am really glad that the shed is here I think it's gonna be so useful for storing things let me show you guys the inside so the size I ended up getting it was four feet this way and six feet this way so not huge but you can see this is all that the side yard can really handle we're gonna move all this wood and everything like that so the walkway is gonna the stepping stones are gonna kind of go right here and then finish out this way um, so yeah so this one it does have a place for a lock if you guys are worried about that I don't think we're gonna put a lock on it because I don't think anything in here we're gonna store is gonna be worth anything there is a little latch down here that you can open and a latch up here that you can open. And then here it is. So we had one of these shelves from the garage. We just brought it out here. This is just for looks, just so you guys can see what it stores. I haven't decided exactly what I'm gonna store in here. Um, Jason thinks that you know we need to think about what needs to be out of the rain and what can be in the rain. Um, so right now I just have my pots and stuff like that and then um, some obelisks and trellises and my chicken wire and things like that. But I'll go around and I'll try and figure out exactly what I want to put in here because yeah, I have plenty of stuff that I can put in here. So we just finished organizing our garage where we uh, have a hanging spot. We got a slat wall and that's where I can put all my gardening supplies. So I actually don't need to store anything like shovels or um, my blower or anything like that. I don't need to store any of that in this shed. This is all like excess pots or maybe bags of soil or extra bags of mulch or you know things like that maybe compost um yeah so i'm thinking it's going to be all that kind of stuff that we don't want to store in the garage because in the garage we had been working on that and now everything in the garage has a place but i do think that the shed would be good to store your you know your shovels and stuff like that probably i don't think it's big enough for it to be super organized but you could at least get it in here and out of the rain so i'm excited i think we're making really good progress for getting ready for the garden tour again kind of a bummer about not having the concrete there but then that also means that I might be able to do a compost pile back here since I'm not going to put any concrete down at least for this year um, everything's just kind of fluid right now and we're just trying to figure everything out and figure out how it needs to be and again I don't want to plan my whole yard around the garden tour because the garden tour is one day out of 365 days just for one year so I want it all to work for us as well 
I think the shed works absolutely perfectly. I do think the concrete would have been really nice because it would have been made it easier for us to walk around over here on the side yard. Um, but it's just not in the budget right now. And that is totally, completely fine. You know, there's, there's years that we can do it, you know, and, and I think it'll make it a lot better. And I also don't want to skimp out on it. I don't want to like hire somebody that's not going to do a good job and not have good drainage, um, or anything like that. So anyway, that check shed check. Uh, now it's uh, time to go shopping for some stepping stones. All right. I hope you all enjoyed this and I hope you all have a chance to get into your garden today.